The ImageCast Evolution Ballot Scanner is a precinct-based optical scan unit that is used in conjunction with the compatible ballot box to scan, tabulate and safely store the voted ballots. In addition, the ICE is a next-generation all-in-one device designed to accommodate the disabled voter by enabling them to mark and cast paper ballots. The physical enclosure of the ImageCast Evolution is made of injected molded plastic. The base plate is produced from aluminium sheet stock, so it is both robust, lightweight and of high stiffness. The new ballot box design ensures voter accessibility and ballot security by accepting and securely housing voted ballots in accordance with all EAC voluntary voting system guidelines for ballot boxes. As the only all-in-one alternative to the combined precinct tabulator and ballot box with the Automark unit for accessible voting, the ICE and ballot box unit is designed for ease of storage, transportation and use by poll workers and all voters alike. The molded plastic ballot box offers a modern, rugged and lightweight solution to the county's ballot box requirements, providing a stable and secure base for the ICE tabulator. Large rear wheels, locking front casters and a heavy-duty transport handle allow this ballot box to be easily transported and deployed. It also includes a sealable clamshell-like cover to secure the tabulator against tampering during transportation and storage. After the voter is qualified to vote, they are issued a ballot. The voter then proceeds to the voting booth to mark their ballot. They carry it to the ICE unit and insert it into the ballot entry, which automatically accepts, scans and deposits it into the ballot box. Finally, the voter receives their I Voted sticker and leaves the polling place. The ballot box is divided into three sections. The main compartment, which can accommodate up to 4,000 ballots. The outstack bin for write-in ballots. And the seldom used emergency bin for use in case of a tabulator failure on election day. The power input receptacle for the AC power cord adapter is on the right rear side of the unit. When plugged into an AC outlet, power is automatically supplied to the internal rechargeable lithium-ion backup battery that runs the ICE unit much the same as a laptop. In case of a power outage, the battery will operate the unit for up to four hours. Most power outages are of short duration, from a few seconds to several minutes. Since the unit is running on DC power, there is no interruption during those outages. The unit also has an internal surge suppressor to protect against any power surges. The external modem for transmitting unofficial results following the closing of the poles plugs into the modem port located to the right side of the unit. Depending on your needs, you have a choice of transmitting results from the precinct or collection center over landline or wirelessly, and since it is external, you can seamlessly change from one choice to the other as your requirements dictate. This flexibility is not available with scanners that rely on an internal modem. In the top right rear of the ICE unit, you will find the results printer compartment, which can be sealed for security purposes. The results printer uses thermal paper and therefore is very quiet and requires no ribbon. To load the thermal paper roll, you simply drop the printer roll into its holder and it automatically feeds into the printer mechanism. The printer serves two basic purposes. It can print a zero total state at the opening of the polls to provide a printed record to show that no votes reside in the unit, and it can print a results total state at the close of the polls to provide a printed record of the election results. Dominion has worked with disability groups to develop the audio tactile interface. This interface consists of an ADA compliant tactile device or keypad, which has a headset and sip and puff ports, as well as dimples to accommodate head pointers. The ATI port is located behind the door on the right rear side of the ICE unit. For proper operation, the ATI cable should be plugged into the ATI port before powering up the ICE unit. Since only about 12% of the blind community can read braille and to address the communication needs of the larger disability community, the advent of more accessible audio response technologies has allowed disability organizations to standardize procedures to help the disability community communicate. The disabled voter casts the ballot using the audio tactile interface, which is tethered to the accessibility port on the right side of the unit. It is essential to emphasize that the navigation during the accessible voting session 
is the same as for a paper-based ballot used by the non-disabled voter. The disabled voter's ballot choices are stored electronically on the memory card in the same manner as the regular voter's ballot choices, and the disabled voter's ballot is deposited in the ballot box along with all the other ballots. The ICE unit has sockets for two removable, non-volatile compact flashcards. The second card is for backup purposes. Both are easily accessible behind doors that can be secured on the side of the unit. The system simultaneously writes to both card locations, keeping the content of both memory cards in sync. The backup memory card holds a copy of the election results and audit logs from the primary card for backup purposes. For security reasons, the content of each memory card is encrypted and signed. ICE ballots are printed either one or two sided on 8.5 inch wide, 80 to 110 pounds stock that can vary in length from 11 to 30 inches. It has been tested and certified for use up to a 22 inch maximum ballot length. The ICE reads single or double sided ballots in any of four possible orientations and accepts colored stock, striping and colored headers to distinguish ballots. The ballot paper can be infused with an infrared overlay for ballot security purposes. If utilized, a ballot without the infrared overlay will not be recognized as authentic by the ICE scanner. A digital image of each scanned ballot with its unique ballot identifiers is stored on the ICE memory card for post-election audit purposes. Each digital ballot image is an exact duplicate of its corresponding paper ballot, which includes offices, candidates, text, and voters marks. At the bottom of every ICE digital ballot image is an audit mark, a ballot audit record, showing how each voter's mark was interpreted by the ICE ballot scanner. The audit mark functionality answers the question most often asked by activists and candidates. How do we know the scanner accurately interpreted voter intent? The audit mark functionality has earned the public's trust during contentious and often highly politicized recounts, thus affording election officials so-called recount peace of mind.